Going into UFC 270, it was evidently known that Francis Ngannou was not happy with his current contract and was having a dispute with the UFC. After defeating Cyril Gunn by unanimous decision at UFC 270, Dana White refused to wrap the belt around him and was nowhere to be seen at the post-fight press conference. Just yesterday on the MMA Hour with Aaron Helwani, Francis Ngannou revealed that his management team received a lawsuit from the UFC for having talks with Jake Paul's promoter about boxing. Some former UFC fighters reached out to Francis Ngannou's support him. Mark Hunt commented on an Instagram post saying, Congratulations at Francis Ngannou. It's about time some fighters grew some balls, and it's good to see you speaking the truth about how this grubby company operate. They have been doing this for such a long time, and all these brown nosing rodents, they all work for the UFC in the media section. Haha, <laughs> fake ass accounts. And now they will put Francis at the back of the bus and turn on him like they do every other fighter that speaks up. I hope he doesn't sign again until they pay him his dues. He was getting ripped off royally like every other fighter in that company. World heavyweight champion getting 5 to 600k US dollars. My last fight with this company 5 6 years ago. I got 950k US dollars and I never had the belt 5 years ago. And the reason I was getting that because I always spoke up and told them they need to pay. They are not your friends and you don't need brand nosing management to rip you off. Get what you're worth. At Francis Ngannou, don't live on your knees. You're a fighter in and out of the octagon. When you're the heavyweight champion of the world, no should not be in your vocab anymore. Again, it must be just the UFC heavyweight title worthless and unworthy of your time and blood. Tyrone Woodley commented saying seen this before. Rampage Jackson commented saying that's f***ed up. They take it personal when a fighter wants to get paid what he's worth. Tito Ortiz showed his support and tweeted at Francis Ngannou. Congrats on the fight and standing your ground for the future of all MMA fighters. I did it and they tried to erase me from the UFC's history books. I hope they don't do the same to you. After Davis and Figueredo recaptured the UFC flyweight title with the help of Henry Cejudo, Piotian sent a message to Henry Cejudo on his Twitter saying not impressed. I think at Henry Cejudo needs to quit coaching just like he quit fighting. Henry Cejudo responded back, Cheetah Yan, I know you don't want me to come back because I will do some really bad things to you. Hashtag bend the knee. A three round featherweight bout between Arnold Allen vs Dan Hooker has been targeted for a UFC card on March 19th. Arnold Allen is coming off a unanimous decision win over Sadiq Yusuf, and Dan Hooker is coming off a submission loss to Islam Makachev. 